October is PT month. For the first day of the month, we're doing one push-up. Two squats for day two of PT month. Day nine of PT month, we're doing nine bridges. Bridging strengthens your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. For any questions on how to bridge correctly, visit freedompt.com or give us a call at any of our four locations. Have a wonderful day and happy PT month. For day 11 of PT month, we're doing some balance exercises. Today, we're standing on a foam with a single leg stance, throwing a ball at a rebounder. This is a great exercise to challenge your balance, your core, and your leg muscles. If you are wondering if this exercise could be something that you could benefit from, visit us at freedompt.com or call any of our four locations. For day 13 of PT month, we're doing 13 monster walks. Monster walks are a great hip strengthening exercise that comes in many different variations. If you're wondering about which variations are best for you, please contact any of our locations or visit us at freedompt.com. Here's a 15 second wall sit for day 15 of Freedom PT month. Wall sits are a great exercise to strengthen the legs and hip muscles. For more information, visit freedompt.com. For day 16 of PT month, we're showing you different ways you can incorporate hurdles into your agility training. Molly is starting with stepping over the hurdles at a slow pace and working on changing directions. Once she's comfortable, she's going to try to perform the course of the hurdles a little bit faster. And then once you've advanced enough and you feel comfortable and safe doing so, you can jump with two feet over each hurdle to improve your agility. For day 20 of PT month, we're doing an awesome core and conditioning exercise called mountain climbers. Happy PT month. For day 22 of PT month, we're showing you 22 chin retractions and chin nods, 11 of each. To do proper form for these exercises, place your head against the wall, make sure your flat is also flat against the wall and retract your chin to make a double chin, but make sure that your head doesn't leave the wall. Once you've mastered the chin retraction, you can add a slight nod where you try to look down towards the floor and bring your head forward as far as you can without having it actually leave the wall. This is a great exercise if you have headaches and you're trying to loosen up your neck, get those muscles in your neck stretched out. For more information on relieving neck pain, relieving headaches, visit our website at freedompt.com or contact us at any of our four locations. 
Happy PT Month. For day 25 of PT Month, Molly is showing you three different variations of shoulder blade retractions, and we're doing 25 reps. Shoulder blade retractions are an excellent way to improve your posture, build the muscles in your back, and make sure you get out of those positions we commonly get into on our day-to-day -day tasks when we sit too much or we're at a computer or we slouch on the couch. To do this exercise, you attach a exercise band around a fixed point and make sure that when you pull back, you squeeze your shoulder blades together as tightly as possible while also keeping your shoulders down and make sure that they don't track towards your ears too much. Doing these in proper form are an excellent exercise and if you're wondering what variations are best for you, contact us at freedompt.com or call any of our four locations. Have a wonderful day and happy PT month. For day 27 of PT month, Rachel is doing 27 Russian twists. This is a great core exercise. If you've built up the proper core strength and are able to include this in your training. For any questions on if you should or not, please give us a call at any of our four locations or visit our website at freedompt.com. Happy PT month. For day 28 of PT month, we're showing you 28 ski jumps on an agility ladder. Agility training is very beneficial, can keep your knees and hips healthy, and keep you moving like you want to in your day-to-day -day activities. To find out if these are right for you, contact us at any of our four locations. For day 30 of PT month, we're doing 30 seconds of calf stretching. We're showing two different types of stretches that you can do on the slant board. The first is to stretch the upper portion of your calf and when Molly goes to bend her knees, she starts to stretch the lower portion of her calves and that's where she should be feeling it. To learn more about calf stretching and what it can do for you, visit our website at freedompt.com or contact any of our therapists at any of our four locations. Have a wonderful day and happy PT month. Day 31 of PT month, we're showing you a plank and push-up position. Planks are an excellent exercise that can be worked into any exercise routine. Thanks for following us through the month for tips and tricks, facts, and data about physical therapy. We're very excited to be in this space. We want to say thank you to all our patients. Let us know if you have any questions. Find us at freedompt.com or contact us at any of our four locations in Grafton, Fox Point, Brookfield, or McGuanago.